Hello stampers. My name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Denver, Colorado. And this is my buddy Puccini who helps me in the craft room. And um, we're kind of in fits and starts getting moving again. <laughs> but I've got a real fun card for you that's real universal in its use. So let's just get started. I am trying a new filming scheme, so we'll see how it works. <laughs> this is my card, and it is very simple, um, it, and it is a universal design. So it's one that we can use over and over again um, using different colors, different messages. And so today I'm going to change it up a little bit, and I am making this card with uh, Orchid Oasis. So my card base is eight and a half by five and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. And then I have two pieces of basic white, one for the inside and one for the outside that are four by five and a quarter. Um, and then I'm using this embossing folder, you can use any embossing folder you'd like. This one is called Layled, Layered Florals, and it's a 3D embossing folder. And it gives us this background here, I think, which adds quite a bit to the card. Okay, then the embellishments I used on this are these pretty laser-cut uh, butterflies. They're called paper butterfly accents. And so I've been using those. Then I am using, uh, in this case, a stamp set, a uh, stamp from Charming Sentiments. And I'm just gonna use this thank you one. This one that says, I can't thank you enough. And this one I'm gonna use that just says, thank you. Um, and then the die that I'm using is from, it's this die here, and right now I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it up on the screen for you, and it cuts out this, um, this little leaf thing here, and I thought with this Orchid Oasis, that green would be real pretty on it. And I couldn't find any uh, designer series paper. On this one, I used designer series paper that had kind of a pattern that had the pretty peacock in it. And so I used that one, snip it in half, and then put half at the top and half at the bottom. And the inside is pretty, um, pretty simple. And so um, we'll just get started here and I'll show you how simple this is to get to put together. The first thing I'm going to do is run this through my embossing folder, and I'll be right back. Okay, here are my flowers. Isn't that pretty? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some liquid glue uh, on this just because there are so many deep impressions on this. I want to make sure we get enough glue that this thing really sticks down and doesn't give us any trouble. And I think liquid glue gives us the best opportunity for that. So um, now that I've got that done, I'm going to slide that on the front of my card. I don't think this really has a right side up or an upside down, but that looks kind of good to me. And because we're using liquid glue, you can just put this down and put it in place and then you can move it around if it's not exactly perfectly straight, but I think that looks pretty good. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is do some stamping. So I have my Orchid Oasis, and the, the thing that's kind of fun about this card is it's just one color. One color, ink and paper, and um, then whatever you, whatever dye you use for your embellishments, and you can use anything you like. Um, this measurement on this piece is uh, two and a half by one and a quarter. And my band that goes across the bottom here is four inches 
by one and a half. So that's going to get glued right on here. And in fact, I'm going to use my liquid glue and do that right now. And this one I raised on dimensionals, but I think I'm just going to put this one flat down on the card and then we can raise the sentiment and um, do it that way. So there's that all ready to go. Then you just decide where on this you want it. You could do it at the top. You could do it at the bottom. I kind of like it here at the bottom third and get that put into place. And then I left a little room on both sides so that I could take this piece and snip it apart. Um, maybe like this. And like this. Okay, now then I can put a little glue on this and put it up here at the top and put a little glue and still be able to slide this one into the bottom. I may need to do a little surgery on this when I cut it a little bit big. So I'm going to take a couple of pieces off of that so that I can slide that under here. We'll put some glue on it and there's my decoration. Then we'll do our stamping on this piece and we're practically done with this card. It's pretty, it's a pretty simple design and you can see how you can change it up to do almost anything. This is one of those cards that's fast. You could do it in three or four colors and just keep your sentiment off until you know what you need. And it could be a go to send a card to someone. All right. So now I've got my Orchid Oasis here and my stamp that says thank you. And I'm going to stamp that, get that good and inked up right there, right here, kind of a bit to one side. See if I got that on there straight. Nope. <laughs> so I'll try that again. Let me see if I can get myself a little closer to it. So I'm doing it right over the top here. There, that might be a little bit better. There we go. All right. Now that's going to go right on here. And then we'll take one of our butterflies. And in this case, I can take a much bigger one because I've got uh, a smaller sentiment. But what I did with this is I used a dauber. Let me grab one here. And put it in the ink here and just got a little bit of that color around the edge of one of these butterflies um, that gives us a little bit more definition. And it looks like I need to re-ink that pad. It's very reluctant to give me any ink here. But we'll just go around this and get a little bit of an inky edge on the butterfly. And maybe do his his um, his antenna. There we go. Um, in fact, I might just do more of the butterfly on this one. You can see how I'll show you here in a second how you can use that almost as a, um, a mask if you wanted to use these to create that butterfly look in shadow. All right. So this is going to go on here and we'll be all done. So uh, I'm going to use a few dimensionals on the back of this message to raise it up and put a little bit of glue on the back of these pieces.
And there is our thank you message, which we're going to tuck into place right here. Maybe get that leaf up over the end of it. There we go, right into place. And then we have our pretty orchid oasis butterfly that we can set right down on here. And I think I'm going to use a few dimensional bones to kind of pick that one up a little bit. So if I cut a little strip on the edge of my dimensionals and take off the bottom, then what I can do is place these in just about any place there's a little spot. and put him in place right in here. And if he sticks out a little bit, I think that's perfectly fine. Move him over maybe just a little bit so he's not coming off the card. But there we go. So on this one, I used those um, boiled uh, adhesive backs, um, the Pretty Peacock, what are they called? Petal Pink and Pretty Peacock Foil Gems because I used the, the Peacock paper. But on this one, I've got one here that's called, gosh, I hope these are still current. <laughs> They're kind of, we might pick up the, uh, the Orchid Oasis here. Yeah, I think they might. So I'm going to use these little gems and put a few of those in place on my butterfly to start with. I'm going to put three of these right down his body here. Yeah, I think those work. And then I'm going to scatter a couple of these larger ones around on the card just so that we have some additional decoration here. Just some down here, big ones and little ones, and just have them coming down the card front. There we go. Maybe one more. Maybe one right down there. Okay, so there we go. That is the outside of the card pretty well completed. And um, I've got a little sprig of these, and I actually cut two of these uh, pieces so that I could have some for the inside. Now, for the inside of the card, we just have to put in place uh, our white piece right on the inside of the card, centered on here. You see how simple this card is to do? You could get an assembly line running in a bunch of different colors and just put this whole thing together pretty darn easily. Now I'm going to cut a piece of Orchid Oasis to go down the side that is about a quarter of an inch or maybe half an inch. So a half an inch, and that needs to be five and a quarter, a little bit of a generous cut to make sure we have enough. And I'm going to put that piece in place on the inside of my card. right along this edge here. And then I'm going to use this whole piece on the inside and just put little bits of uh, dot runner down on this thing and put this on the inside. 
Now on the inside of this card, what I did was um, I put um, this sentiment that said big hugs. So I think I'll do that again. I kind of like that one. And I've got it right here. And I just need to put it in the Orchid Oasis ink and stamp it on the inside. Uh-oh, I detect my buddy coming to help. Yeah. Maybe he'll sit in the middle of our work and maybe he won't. <laughs> it's kind of a funny guy. Sometimes he does. I'm going to put big hugs right up here. There, I think that's pretty. Now I'm going to have to put a little gem there because I caught the edge of the uh, thing. So I'm going to put that right there. So big hugs. And so there we go. There is my project for the day and my card. So here I have the card that we just made today. Here's one I made earlier. And let's see, I have another one. I don't know where it went, but it's basically the same as this one. But you see, you could change up the sentiment. You can change up whatever dye you're using. You can change up this folder and the design itself with uh, an embossed background, a strip across here, a sentiment and a few little things is one that's pretty darn easy to do and very, very versatile because you could make that thank you. You could make it get well, feel better. You could make it just about anything. And so um, I think that would be one that would be a pretty good universal design. So that is my project for the day. We have a little bit of time left on uh, celebration. So you want to get in there and get some of those free products while they're still available. And um, I'll be back soon with more cards, more tips, and more projects. Bye.